how I got a terrible manager so embarrassed and stressed she quit. I worked under a manager a few years ago who was awful in every sense of the word. She would throw personal belongings into the garbage, things like designer purses, coffee mugs, etc. Her excuse was they shouldn't be laying around in the open. I understand that, but you don't throw people's personal belongings away. This manager also enjoyed making our lives hell. She would add extra work on us from previous shifts that were short-staffed, as well as add work when governing bodies would be coming in to clean up the area. We would tell her we didn't have the already hilariously ridiculous time to get the impossible work done. She started suggesting we skip our breaks. Whenever we complained we didn't have time to complete work, she would say, Oh, I never got breaks whenever I worked for 40 years before getting this position. She'd even say things like, Oh, your breaks aren't that important. Me, being nice to people's face to a point, shouldn't have been messed with. I emailed the general manager of the building as well as his assistant, a union representative, and our union president. I explained how our manager was treating the staff regarding our breaks and how our belongings were literally being thrown in the garbage. Nobody responded to my email, but with the system we used, you could see everyone who saw it. So when everyone saw it and I received no reply, I replied to the email. Failure to respond appropriately within a week will result in this email being forwarded to the Ministry of Labor and Human Rights Board. I received two emails from the union. One was the representative saying he did not agree with the manager's comments. The other from the general manager saying he would deal with the issue. The next day, I came in for my evening shift. The manager was standing next to our reporting area, looking very upset. She pointed at a paper on the wall and explained that the general manager gave her that and that we were to sign off when we took our breaks and, if for whatever reason we missed it, she was to pay us overtime for it. She then took me aside and told me she did not understand why someone would report her for cracking jokes. I responded with, Jokes are made when everyone laughs. When you made your jokes about our breaks and throwing our belongings out, not even you were laughing. She quit three days later, stating, too much stress. 